the sun is so beautiful. It's just so relaxing and it's just so full of life. I can just touch it. Oh shit! I forgot! I have to film top 5 anticipated movies of summer 2016 with the guys! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I gotta go! What is up, everybody? This is 22 Tiger Dude, here to do top five anticipated movies of summer 2016, starting off with Mr. W. Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE Fan 0599 here again. I always love doing these top five most anticipated videos my good friend 22 Tiger Dude and everybody else who I don't care about. I'm only kidding. But, <laughs> but anyways. Oh, really? All right. All right. Thank, but thank anyways, you. Appreciate it. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> moving on to uh, whoever's next. Mr. Falk. All right. What's up, guys? It's uh, it's Kevin, of course. Love to be a part of these things. Um, I've done three of these so far. And, uh, yeah, let's get to the next person. <clears throat> Big Lazy and Red. Hey. Um, I, um, I'm a boy. Next person. <laughs> nice introduction. Thank you. Um, Mr. Mendoza. And you have bat red hair in this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'm, like, low-key creeped out. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, and moving on to the last person. <laughs> Third. Morgan Freeman is a beautiful man. <laughs> no, 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 no. Morgan Freeman is now a uh, a trap rap out artist. He's now a trap rap out artist. Well, what? this got off to a very nice start. What the heck? What is this Batman mask doing in my office? <laughs> so, you guys, yes, I am here with my guests because it is that time. Where we're through with pretty much all of the movies that came out in the springtime. We're now moving on to the summertime. There's a lot of movies to look forward in the summer. So, of course, before we do get into our top five, we're going to mention honorable mentions. If you don't have any, that's okay. But if you do, you know, feel free. So, to start off with my honorable mentions, in my order, I have number 13, Star Trek Beyond, number 12, Kubo and the Two Strings. Number 11, The Secret Life of Pets. Number 10, Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising. Number 9, The Conjuring 2. Number 8, Central Intelligence. Well, scratch that. Number 8 is Sausage Party. I can't believe I forgot to mention that during the filming with the guys because I made a trailer review saying how freaking hysterical I think it looks. So yeah, Sausage Party for number 8. Number 7, Independence Day Insurgents. Really, Tony? Insurgents? Are you freaking kidding me? Insurgents? Dude, resurgence. Independence Day, resurgence. Get your facts straight. <sighs> and number six, X-Men Apocalypse. Oh, yeah. Resurgence. Um, anyways, mine are in no particular... Well, they're in the order of when they're coming out, but here they are. Uh, the Nice Guys... Uh, Change Me Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows, Warcraft, uh, Now You See Me 2, The Conjuring 2, uh, Swedish Army Men, uh, Central Intelligence, uh, Free State of Jones, uh, The Legend of Tarzan, uh, The BFG, Star Trek Beyond, Lights Out, The Founder, Sausage Party, Peach Dragon, War Dogs, uh, Kuba and the Two Strings, and Bloodfather. Those are my uh, honorable mentions. Oh, Bloodfather. It's a movie with my boy Mel Gibson. That's all I need to know. By the way, now I correct you, WWE fan. You said Swedish Army Man. It's Swiss Army Man. Swiss. Okay. Leave me. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're even now. So, my honorable mentions in a particular order, we have Money Monster, Free State of Jones, The BFG, uh, The Secret Life of Pets, The Founder, Legend of Tarzan, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows, Warcraft, Lights 
without Kubo and the Two Strings. And then my 10 through 6, number 10, Peach Dragon, number 9, Star Trek Beyond, number 8, The Nice Guys, number 7, Jason Bourne, and number 6, The Conjuring 2. Oh, boy. Here we go. Okay. My honorable mentions um, are Captain America Civil War, okay. uh, Money Monster, Free State of Jones, X-Men Apocalypse, Alice for the Looking Glass, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows, Swiss Army Man, Central Intelligence, The BFG, I'm going to make a note about this next one, I'm curious about this movie, I don't know, Ghostbusters, I'm curious, am I looking forward to it? No, but I'm very curious about it. Okay, uh, I'm with you with that. And uh, Kubo and the Two Strings, and that's all my honorable mentions. I actually have one more honorable mention, uh, which is The Nice Guys, I forgot about that. Okay, so the nice guys is your uh, yeah. Good thing you remembered that, <laughs> Brian. I know you told me you don't have any honorable. Wait, no, no, no! I changed my mind. I, I made it just now. <laughs> oh, I'm okay, then go Brian. ahead. What are your What are your honorable mentions then? Neighbors two, Star Trek Beyond, The Nice Guys, TMNT two, Finding Dory, Free State of Jones, Ghostbusters. We'll see how that. We'll see how that is, and of course, The Founder. All right, Swiss Army Man, The Angry Birds Movie, The Secret Life of Pets, Free Say of Jones, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows, Independence Day Resurgence, Warcraft, Ubo and the True Strings, Captain America Civil War, Money Monster, The Lobster, Jason Bourne, The Nice Guys, The BFG, and Evan Almighty, bitches, I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> Anyone want it? My number five, the nice guys. I'm really looking forward to this movie. Um, I think Shane Black is a very talented writer and director. Although I still have to see Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and I am going to watch that before I see this movie for sure. Um, you know, for what I hear, this movie has the style of Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and I've heard so many good things about it. And I just like the style. I love the style, actually, of what the trailer is showing us of what this movie is going to be. It's going to be another one of those bloody cop comedies. But, you know, I thought Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling, they look like they're going to have a ton of fun in this movie. The comedy looks like it's going to be hilarious. It's looking to be probably one of the most funniest movies that ever come out in 2016. Maybe even the funniest. We're going to have to see how comedies go for this year. But this movie looks funny. It looks like it's going to have really great, uh, but also very violent action at the same time. It's a definition of just having a lot of fun. That's what this movie looks like. So nice, guys. Um, it's looking nice for me. Eh, eh? And that's my number five. Ah, I see you there. Eh? Nice. Tony, Sorry. anyways. <laughs> I guess uh, it's my turn now. Uh, yes. Coming at number five for me. Ladies and gentlemen, you know his name. No, not James Bond. Jason Bourne is my number five. Now, uh, Jason Bourne uh, looks like it could be a great fifth installment to the franchise because, you know, they're bringing back Paul Greengrass, who did two and three. And uh, three is one of my favorites in the franchise and, you know, had tremendous uh, action. Matt Damon was great, you know, so, and that's what this one looks like, it looks like it's gonna have great action, we finally got a trailer, which released yesterday as the time of we're making this, um, and it was great, and it shows us everything that we want from this movie, and it just looks tremendous, it looks like it's gonna have tremendous action, tremendous uh, acting, especially for Matt Damon, you know, you got new additions like Tommy Lee Jones, Alicia Vikander, so, I'm just really interested to see where this fifth installment goes. And I'm beyond excited for it. So my number five is Jason Bourne. My number five, um, I know that a lot of times the Pixar movies I put on my all of the mentions, but this one's an exception because actually the very first movie I ever saw in theaters was Finding Nemo. I was four. I saw Finding Nemo. I've been excited for this movie ever since then. And that, of course, is Finding Dory, 
look, I know the trailers, it's like, you know, it looks kind of the same thing, or it looks like it's not going to be that great, but I have a lot of faith in this movie. Why? Because the trailer for Inside Out, it looked kind of mediocre. It really did. But then we know how Inside Out turned out. Um, so I think this movie is going to be like that. I think Pixar, at this point, they know what they're doing. They're going to handle this really well. I mean, they wouldn't make this if they didn't think it would be good. It's that simple. Pixar is not the kind of company, like, they have enough money. They're not just going to make money movies to make money. They have enough money. They're, they're fine with that. I mean, they, they made, they've made so much money, they don't need any more money. Um, but because of that, I do think Finding Dory is going to be a great sequel. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm hoping that we get more invest. I already love Dory's character, obviously, but I feel like this one, they're going to put maybe some more heart to it. We got um, Albert Brooks and Diane Keaton as uh, the parents, which I think is like, re- not Albert Brooks, we have someone as her mother, I can't father, I can't remember who, but I know Diane Keaton is her mother, that's going to be really fun. I'm really looking forward to I'm looking forward to seeing everyone back, and uh, yeah, Finding Dory, number five, that's my number five. So my number five is actually The Lobster. This is a movie that Kevin uh, watched yes. in December, and on a leaked online, and he told me amazing things, and he told me the plot, and I saw the trailer, and it was looking very interesting to me, it looks very original, kind of like wanting to be something else, and you know, it seems very also out there in the style, kind of reminds me a bit of a bit of, a little, bit of Wes Anderson, and this overall looks like a very interesting film, and looks very different than your normal type of movie, I'll plus it, I believe it is an A24 movie. It is. They, yeah. They are, they, are, yeah, they, 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 they did get the rights to the movie, and they are distributed, I think, so it, it, it's so, um, yeah, The Lobster is my number five. And it has Colin Farrell in it. Hey! You know what the funny thing is? The last thing that they mention here is Jason Bourne. That's my number five pick. I am a big action movie fan. I love the first three movies. The third one's my favorite. I like the last one, to be honest. Even though not that much people didn't like it. But this movie, it's going to be a thrill ride. You got the same director as the second and third film back. You got Matt David back. You got Tommy Lee Jones in here. This is going to be awesome. That's my number five pick. And my number five is Pop Star Never Stop, Never Stopping. I am a ginormous fan of The Lonely Island. I love their music. I just think they're very clever. And <laughs> I just think they're very clever. And, um,. I just they're hilarious, and I think this movie honestly looks really funny. I think it looks really well written. I really love the like the plot of it. It's kind of like it's like a fictional documentary kind of. That's what it looks like to me. I think that's just really funny and clever. Uh, I think I just think it looks like a really great comedy for the summer, and I can't wait. I'm just like I said, I'm just a big, big, big Lonely Island fan, so I just can't wait for this movie, and I hope. They sing in this movie. I don't know if they are, but I really hope they do. I mean, it's called Pop Star, so I would assume so. Probably. <laughs> My number four is Jason Bourne. Now, uh, the Bourne franchise, I actually really enjoyed that. It even includes Born Legacy. I know that's a movie not a lot of people are fans of, but I even like that one. I'm really, really excited to see what they're going to do now that Matt Damon is back as Jason Bourne, and now that Paul Greengrass is back to direct this franchise. Um, you know, like what WWE fan just said, the trailer just released yesterday. As we are filming this, it is April 22nd, so we are actually filming this video on Earth Day. Um, so what we saw in that trailer from yesterday as we were filming this, uh, it looks awesome. The action looks great. Cinematography-wise, the, the film looks like it's shot differently from the other Jason Bourne movies. I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like it's filmed differently in a very great way. Just very exciting action. you got a great cast going for it. And I'm just ready to see some more Jason Bourne awesomeness and where they're going to further the story now that... Jason Bourne, you know, he's starting to put the pieces of, together of who he's becoming. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this, and that is my number four. Coming at number four for me, um, what happens when you take a band of misfits, basically a band of misfit villains, and you put them all into a team? When you get Deadshot, Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, what happens when you put them all together? You get the Suicide Squad, and that is my number four. DC... 
Although I've liked both of their movies that they've done, they are having a rough time getting on the ground. You know, with critics and stuff. And I think this could be the movie that really helps them get their cinematic universe started. And it looks great, you know, and it's also a very risky idea. Taking a bunch of bad guys and kind of making them the good guys in this situation, you know what I mean? And I think it looks great. I've loved all the trailers that have been released for it so far. Um, they've all been great. Shows that there's that there's going to be some humor, some great action. And, of course, Jared Leto as the Joker. He looks great. My boy Pimp Joker out in here. He looks great. I think he's going to do a great job as the Joker. And, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to Suicide Squad. I think this could be a great comic book fan film and one of the best movies of not only the summer but the year so my number four is suicide squad my number four as you guys talked about suicide squad Captain america civil war they're like the two big um movies of course right now that everyone's hyping there's one that like i feel is not getting as much praise and maybe it's that people are sick of it or i don't know for me i'm just excited about this movie as much as Captain america civil war and suicide squad and that is x-men apocalypse i really feel this movie um it's not really getting, like, the hype and things like it deserves. I really think this movie looks fantastic. Why? Apocalypse looks incredible. I mean, Oscar Isaac is such a versatile actor. He's shown that he can do so many different things, and he's going to kill his Apocalypse. I know he's going to be awesome. From that trailer, he looks fantastic. The mythology of this character in general, like, the oldest X-Men ever lived, basically, to, like, take down the rest of them. I mean, it's going to be awesome to see what happens with that. And plus, the other thing I don't think a lot of people are knowing is that this movie does not take place in the 1980s. It takes place in the 1980s of the time period that Wolverine and people like that stopped from happening in Days of Future Past. So a lot of the movie's going to be, did what happened in Days of Future Past make things better, or did it make it worse? And that's something we're looking forward to. And not having Wolverine, it is a very risky move to not have Wolverine in this movie. But I feel this going to add to the way the movie is, because we've already seen a movie, not completely that Wolverine, because Wolverine does have that little small cameo in X-Men First Class, but, um, of course, he's not going to be in this at all, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how they're going to do without him. I like that they're getting, like, the young Storm and the young Jean Grey. I think that's going to be really cool, the way that that's done. I'm just really looking forward to this. I mean, the last two X-Men movies have really impressed me. I think X-Men First Class really was the movie that made me love superhero and action movies the way I do I mean, Differently about them. Future Past just immensely impressed me. It was so, so much better than that. Even though I love First Class, I can use Future Past is like miles better than that. And I think this could even be better, honestly. I think this movie's going to be incredible. I can't wait for it. Do I think that the first trailer, I can understand some people thought, oh, it just looks like the same thing or something like Age of Ultron. No, I really think this movie, there's going to be very high stakes. There's going to be some deaths, definitely. I do think there's going to be a death, and uh, I'm really looking forward to X-Men Apocalypse, so that's my number four. Okay, so my number four is Sausage Party. I heard about this movie, and I had no clue what it was about. I, I saw it because I saw Seth Rogen when, before the trailer came out, like a month uh, before the trailer came out. I saw the first image, and I was like, this movie's going to suck. It just looked bad from the image, and it, Sausage Party, I was like, what the hell is this? Then the trailer came out, the Red Band trailer, and I was watching it, like, this looks great. It, like, it seems like something that's already been done, but it seems so fresh and original, and the take on this concept just seems so new. And the anim I like the animation style as well, and I think that also the humor is very clever, it's very self-aware, and overall, in general, it's like a very fun and thrilling movie, and I think the concept's just great, so that's what I have to say. So, my number four pick is... Uh, 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 sorry about the Jeff Golden impersonation. I did it on purpose. I do not care. It's X-Men Apocalypse. This movie is going to be intense and epic. And I gotta say, Oscar Isaac's going to be pretty interesting as this villain. I think he's in the video games or something. I... Yeah, there was a video game based on him. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he's been in the comics. Um, don't know that much, but I know he's like the first mutant in the whole planet, I think. But here's the weird thing. What is Sansa Stark from Game of Thrones doing here? I mean, what? Where are the dragons? I'm just kidding. I have to reference that show. Uh, bad joke. Um, yeah, can't wait for this. I think there's going to be a lot of destruction in this movie, possibly. We shall see. I love that destruction. Sorry to say that. <laughs> I love destruction and action movies. I don't care. Next! Alright. My number four is The Conjuring 
2. Now, the first Conjuring movie was fucking terrifying. And this one looks like it's going to continue that tradition of being fucking terrifying. Uh, I'm glad James Wan's come back to direct this, because Annabelle, let's face it, that movie was not good. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad he's coming back, uh, returning as a director. And it just looks like a really scary movie. The acting looks, in my opinion, really good, just like the first one. And it uh, looks like it's going to be a pretty great time. So, yeah, Conjuring 2 is my number four. You're so enthusiastic about it. <laughs> <laughs> going to be a great time, guys. I'm, like, so buzzed. My number three is a movie called, yes, Suicide Squad. And um, I was um, curious when the Comic-Con trailer last year was released, but I'm not going to lie. My anticipation level raised up to the maximum. Like, it pretty much broke the scale once that trailer with Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen um, played the, the song choice for that trailer. That's when I'm all like, okay, I am officially sold on this movie. Uh, this movie looks like it's going to be awesome. And it looks really cool because instead of focusing on the usual, like, superheroes, you know, it's a movie about a group of villains that are trying to get into the good side, but it doesn't look like it's really working out. So I really like that concept alone. I love the cast here. And, you know, I think even Jai Courtney, who I know WWE fans are huge fan of, he looks like he's gonna do. <laughs> he looks like he's gonna do uh, honestly a really good job in this film, and I'm honestly looking forward to seeing how David Ayer will handle directing this film. Now, Jared Leto, you know, I'm still not sure about him being Joker. Like, I know the performance will be great. I just don't know if I'll buy him as Joker. We'll just have to see. But otherwise, Will Smith looks great. Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn looks great. Everyone looks great in this film. It looks like it's going to be awesome. The action looks spectacular. So that's my number three. My number three is another superhero movie boy. Like Kevin said, a lot of people are sleeping on this movie. My number three is X-Men Apocalypse. This movie looks awesome. Okay? I saw, okay, the first trailer I wasn't really a fan of. I thought it was just a very boring trailer, honestly. But then that second trailer came out. Oh my goodness, this movie looks like it's going to be the best of the X-Men franchise, even better than Days of Future Past, I'm calling it right now, because man, whoa, whoa, just wow, this movie looks incredible, I think everything about this film will be great, I like the new additions that they have with this film, you know, like bringing in Young Storm, bringing in Psylocke, you know, um, we're getting young G. Gray, young Cyclops, young Nightcrawler, just every, all of my favorite X-Men characters are going to be in this movie, and that's going to be awesome, and I love that. Oscar Isaac looks great as Apocalypse, and he seems like he's going to be a really, really intimidating force, you know what I mean? And just lots of death and destruction is going to happen in this movie, so we'll just have to wait and see. My number three is X-Men Apocalypse, so pumped. Uh, my number three, now when this movie came out, I, like Caden, was kind of hesitant. I didn't know if this was going to be good. I'm like, really? This is where you're headed? It just doesn't seem like a really good idea. But then I'm hearing everyone saying, the trailer for Sausage Party looks hilarious. The trailer for Sausage Party, and that is my number three, Sausage Party. I mean, this movie looks hilarious. It looks funny. It does look very funny. But the, what I really love about it is that it is an animated movie. And it's a movie that basically... I, th I think this is like the Pixar movie, but it's all the stuff that they can't say in the Pixar movies, and that's why it's so funny. And there are so many people talking about it. Like, in school, we literally, in, in like the choir room in my school, we watched the Sausage Party trailer. I'm not even kidding. It was hilarious. I mean, it, just everything about it is so funny. Seth Rogen's going to be awesome. The plot in general, I mean, it make, it's making you care for sausage. What do you think? Like, it's so stupid. But at the same time, I honestly feel like it's going to have some heart to it. I feel like it's going to be one of those movies where you're going to care for sausage. And you're going to be like, I don't know why, but I'm going to not care for sausage. And it's going to make you not want to eat sausage for breakfast the next morning and things like that. Um, but I'm really looking forward to Sausage Party. I think the animation looks awesome. I think the voice cast is great. You have, like, any funny person ever in this movie. So I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's awesome. Yeah, party. It's kind of like the animated This is the End in many ways where it's like so many comedy stars 
and uh, shut the fuck up, Adam. But um, yeah, number three, Sasha's party for sure. My number three is Finding Dory. I love Finding Nemo. It is definitely one of my favorite Pixar movies. And now that they are doing a sequel, I am a bit hesitant. But again, Inside Out, I thought was going to suck, and that ended up probably be my second favorite movie of last year. I'm hoping this is great. I cannot wait to see it in IMAX 3D. It looks very powerful and beautiful, like you know, like you know, Finding Nemo is. Again, it's like a bit childish, but again, it, that again, that's what every Pixar movie looks like, and it ends up being really mature most of them. And the poster I also really like as well. It reminds me a lot of the original Finding Dory. I mean, Finding Nemo poster. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Not, yeah, I run. In my ever trailer voice, my number three pick is Suicide Squad. Sorry about that. That's pretty terrible. Uh, I like the concept of bad guys trying to be good. That is something different in a comic movie. I gotta say, Margot Robbie looks sexy. Ad. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I've been wanting to see this character. This. I'm not denying that. I've been wanting to see this character on screen for quite some time. And I'm excited to see her on the screen, as well as the rest of the cast. Jared Leto's Joker should be interesting. I gotta say, he's pretty different than the other ones. But, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I'm excited to see Harley Quinn on screen. But the movie itself, like I was saying, I think the film looks pretty badass. Next. Alright, my number three. It's funny how everyone is like saying not a lot of people are looking forward to this movie yet. Nearly all of us have it on our top five <laughs> X-Men Apocalypse. <laughs> Um, I love the Days of Future Path. I love First Class and this one. In my opinion, looks like it's going to be just as great as those, honestly. I think um, Oscar Isaac looks great as the villain, and I think it looks like the effects, first of all, the effects are beautiful, like as you expect. The acting looks great, and the movie just overall, it just looks like a wicked, just fun time. <laughs> My numeral dos, aka number two, is Finding Dory. I'm really excited for Finding Dory, and that's because I love Finding Nemo so much. It's one of my favorite movies from Pixar, and just in general, it is one of my favorite animated movies of all time. I mean, I've seen Finding Nemo countless times, and I never get tired of watching it. It's just one of those movies that I could just rewatch and never get tired of watching, honestly. And Finding Dory looks like it'll be. Uh, I think it could be really great as well. Yes, it may have a formula that could seem familiar, but I'm sure they're going to handle it in a way where you could still be engaged by the storyline and in the atmosphere that the movie is building. I'm just so happy that we get to see characters like Marlin, Nemo, Dory, um, you know, any other character that's returning. Oh yeah, the Turtles too, and apparently it takes place six months after the events of Finding Nemo, from what I read, so I find that pretty interesting personally. I can't wait to see how they'll handle Dory as the main character, as she is one of my favorite characters from Finding Dory. Um, and the trailers have done a good job so far, as we're filming this, of not really giving too much away. You've only had two teaser trailers for this movie, and honestly, that's all I need. I don't need to see any more footage for this movie, honestly. That's my number two. I can't freaking wait for it. All right, my number two. Well, uh, Tony just mentioned it. Flying Dory is my number two. Um, you know, uh, like everybody here, I am a huge fan of Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo is one of my all-time favorite anime films. It is my second favorite Pixar film, and this movie looks really good. It looks incredible. I do think Finding Dory could be maybe the best animated film of the year. And it definitely does look like that. It looks like an incredible animated film. I'm so glad everybody's coming back to do this one. And it's just, it looks great. And Pixar has shown us in the past that they can make fantastic movies. I mean, last year, Inside Out beat out Star Wars for me for, like, the best films of 2015. So that's saying a lot. And Finding Dory just looks incredible. So my number two is Finding Dory. So I'm going to tell you this right now. My number two and number one are fairly obvious. You guys know probably what they are. You might not know what position they are, but once you know what number two is, you'll know what number one is. Um, number two for me, 
Um, obviously, no brainer here. Captain America: Civil War. I mean, I am so looking forward to this movie. The more and more I hear about, the more I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be what Avengers: Age of Ultron should have been. Now, I actually really like Avengers: Age of Ultron. I don't think it's a bad movie. I know other people in this uh, chat won't agree with me. Um, Hayden, but um, anyway, I personally think that this movie looks amazing. I mean. I really think what Batman v Superman could have been is what this movie is going to be. We have a conflict here that honestly is a conflict that I think a lot of people are going to be like, I'm on this side, I'm on that side. It really is a different thing, like political beliefs and things like that, because I believe it's all about is are we going to get the government involved and have them run the Avengers, and while you know Captain America thinks we they shouldn't do it, while you know Iron Man's kind of on the side of it. It's a very interesting subject, and I'm looking forward to seeing how that's going to be. Um, Spider-Man bringing him in, I think that's going to be really good. I really have no doubt that this movie is going to be really great. I mean, anyone that's saying this movie isn't going to be great, I'm just going to say, you know, go into it for the expectations. I think you'll really love it. I've heard amazing things about it. I've even heard, the Schmoes even said on, like, their review that, like, if you go into this movie, even people that haven't liked Marvel movies, they'll probably love this movie because it is a psychological thriller, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, I just, I love the difference of opinion. Just everything we've seen of it, I am so looking forward to it. Um, I'm, I can't wait for the airport scene. I mean, I've heard incredible things about that. I am so looking forward to seeing that. I will definitely be there Thursday night. I cannot wait for it. Uh, Captain America Civil War, without a doubt, is my number two. So my number two is actually The Founder. Now, I have been looking forward to this movie for a long time. The concept is very interesting. The founder of McDonald's. And basically the fast food empire, you know, the upbringing of it, how it's the next big thing in the food industry. And, you know, the, you know market and stuff like that. And when the trailer came out... I, it looked, I was even more excited, I think this movie looks great, um, it looks a little bit incoherent, but I think that, again, is, maybe it's the trailer's fault, I think Michael Keaton looks fantastic in this movie, I think it looks very sharp and witty, I love the style of the movie as well, and I think overall it's gonna be very interesting and engaging, and yeah, the founder looks fantastic, and that's why it is my, uh, number two. Nice. So, my number two is a sequel to one of my favorite, I, Midnight's action movies, Independence Day Resurgence or Independence Day Two. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, this movie looks awesome. I don't care. Um, I'm gonna make a joke about this. It's gonna win Best Picture at the Oscars. Um, actually, it's definitely happened. The special effects look amazing. The action scene looks fantastic. There's gonna be more destruction in this movie. I hope they destroy Earth. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I want more Jeff Goldblum. Take my money. I'm, I'm hooked. This movie's gonna be awesome. My number two is Suicide Squad. This movie looks fucking awesome. It looks hilarious, first of all. It looks badass. It looks just everything. The costume designs look freaking amazing. The acting looks great. It uh, just looks like it's a wicked, wicked, incredibly fun comic book movie. A very risky one, too. It looks really incredibly risky. And, um... I can't wait for this one, and damn, Margaret Robbie, I'd fuck her in that pussy so hard. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> preach it, man, preach it. Yeah, preach it, man. <laughs> That's understandable. Uh, Margaret Robbie's a good-looking woman, so... Exactly, so... Oh, yeah, definitely. But now it's time to get into, uh... Number, number one. one! And I'm just going to go ahead and say it, Captain America Civil War, that's my number one. Um, if you guys saw the top ten anticipated movies I did with WWE fan back in December of last year, I put this movie as my most anticipated of the year. So it's not only my most anticipated of summer, but it's my most anticipated of the entire year of 2016. They're going to have two sides that have different point of views on what they believe, and they're going to have a civil war regarding that. So I think that's actually very interesting on Marvel's part, and for them to go that further into the story. Um, I'm glad the Russo brothers are back because I love the Winter Soldier. And hearing that it's a psychological thriller from the early reviews we've been getting, I'm on board for a psychological thriller. I think that's going to be very interesting. I'm sure there's going to be humor into it as well. I know the trailers haven't really been showing humor, but I'm pretty darn sure humor will be in the movie as well. It just looks like it'll be fun, mind-gripping, and something to further on to the Simic universe and to set up for Infinity War. So that is my number one of the summer and of the entire year of 2016. Okay, my number one is Uncharted 4 
a thief send. Oh, wait, that's my most anticipated release of summer 2016. My most anticipated movie release of 2016 is Captain America Civil War. Summer 2016, sorry. Captain America Civil War looks like awesome. It just looks incredible. It really does. I mean, the whole thing with... I actually have read the Civil War comic book. You know, I don't like to be that guy, but I actually have read the comic book of Civil War, and, you know, it's a great comic book. To see it be adapted into a movie should be really interesting, and it really looks like like they're broken. They're divided, these guys. You know what I mean? And it just looks incredible. I love that tagline. United, we stand. Divided, we fall. Because that's exactly what this looks like. And, oh, yeah. you know... You gotta pick a side, and it really looks like it could be one of the best Marvel films. I think it could be the best Marvel film since the since the first Avengers, honestly. That's how incredible this looks, and just how intense it looks, and how just glorious it looks, you know? It could be one of the best movies of 2016. I'm really looking forward to Captain America Civil War. It's by far my most anticipated movie of summer 2016. It, it just looks incredible. Like, and... I just have a feeling we're going to have an emotional punch, you know what I mean, in the film. And it just looks so, so great. And, of course, my man, Spidey, he's in here. And he looks awesome as well. And I just can't wait to see what they do with this film. So my number one is Captain America Civil War. So my number two and number one were, like, neck and neck, very close to um, one another, definitely. Um... I was kind of worried about this movie, though, to be honest with you guys. I was worried about it. I didn't know how it was going to be. But then that second trailer came out. I was set on what it was going to be. I knew it was going to be number one, and that, without a doubt, is Suicide Squad. Look, I mean, DC has been trying to have that movie. They've been trying to have that movie that really starts this uh, series. I mean, obviously they had the Dark Knight trilogy, but that was not part of this new DC you know, um, universe they're trying to set up. And they've tried to do it with Man of Steel. It kind of worked. Batman v Superman also kind of worked, but I really think this is going to be the movie that really shows us what they're capable of. It looks different. I mean, Mar the, here's the thing that I love about this, that Marvel hasn't done a movie like this. We haven't had a movie where all the villains band together um, you know, to take down a bigger villain. I'm really looking forward to seeing how that's going to be. Um, Joker, I mean, Jared Leto, with, saying that he's dedicated is an understatement. He's sending used condoms to Margot Robbie. I think he's going to be awesome as a character. I think he's really embodied this character. I'm kind of scared on, you know, how he's going to be, but I really am looking forward to seeing it. I mean, every shot in the trailer we've seen is amazing. Margot Robbie's going to kill it. I mean, Harley Quinn, I, I barely recognize her. She looks awesome. I think uh, Will Smith's going to be great. I think this is going to be the movie as well that really shows Will Smith can, like, you know, he's going to bounce back, definitely. I mean, concussion he did, but I think this movie as well, he's going to be really good. I'm looking forward just to seeing how the movie's going to be and just the concept in general, I really do love. We haven't really had, you know, a movie like this, like I said, in DC. I think the effects look awesome. I think the, the trailers we've had all have been fantastic. I love all the trailers. I love how different all three of them are. I like that we're also going in a more comedic direction. I think it's the best thing for this series. Everyone says, oh, DC's so dark. There's no light, you know, humor or anything. I think this is going to be the movie that shows that DC can be fun, and they are able to have that Guardians of the Galaxy type of film, which is exactly what I think this is going to be. This is going to be DC's Guardians of the Galaxy, which, again, I know there are some people here that don't like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Caden, but um, anyway, Suicide Squad, I cannot wait for Suicide Squad, I think it's going to be awesome, I am counting the days till it comes out, and Captain America Civil War, like I said, these two are neck and neck, if I could, I would pick both of them as number one, but because I couldn't, Captain America Civil War was number two, and this is just number one, just because it's different from anything else I've seen from any superhero movies previously. Alright, that's fine, that's my number one. Uh, okay. So my number one is Suicide Squad. This is probably my most anticipated movie of the entire year. It just looks so different for a mainstream movie, and I love just the style of it. the first the Comic Con trailer. I was kind of like, "Ow!" But then when they started marketing it in the way they are now, with Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, which is my favorite song of all time, in that trailer I was like, "This is heaven!" And then, and then a trailer, the Blitz trailer with the Rocky Horror Picture Floor number. I was like, I'm sold on this. It, the style just looks so good. I think that um, David Ayer is perfectly going to perfectly basically do this world that he's setting up. You know, I believe it does take place between Man of Steel and Batman v Superman. 
I think they confirmed that. And I think I think everyone looks great, especially um, Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. I think she's going to nail the character. Oh, also, yeah. I really I think Will from the set shot is going to be really good. And I love Killer Croc as well. Just basically, in general, I really like how it just looks overall. And Jared Leto's the Joker. I think it's going to be the best Joker of all time because he appeals to me, really. I, like, like That's the kind of Joker that like I like. And um, it kind of has like a punk feel to it. So I'm just very excited for Swiss Scott. Everything's already been said about it. And, um, yeah, Harley Quinn as well. So um, I like Harley Quinn. So... This is my second most anticipated movie of the year, and it's my most anticipated comic movie of the year, and it's my most anticipated movie of the summer! Captain America Civil War. I'm going to say this right now. Hashtag Team Brian. Lightsabers are not included. Or the yeah, shield. Just a random the lightsaber appears in the movie. <laughs> yes, oh, yes Kylo Ren shows up right Star Wars The Civil War Awakens. I've been... <laughs> In the more MCU since the beginning, I will never forget the end credit scene for that movie. And my God, this movie's going freaking epic! Um, I mean, uh, I can't believe this is the third movie in the Captain America trilogy already. The Witcher Soldier is my favorite MCU movie by far, so far I should say. Chris Evans should win an Oscar for this role. I am not joking right there, even though the Academy will not accept that. This is going to be intense, thrilling, emotional, and possibly funny. It's Spider-Man's in it. Take my money. It's in two weeks. All right. My number one is Finding Fucking Dory. I cannot wait for this movie. Oh, my God. Finding Nemo is my favorite animated movie of all time. Freaking time! I absolutely adore that movie. I could watch that movie every single day of my freaking life and just never get tired of it. It is a masterpiece. It is amazing. It is literal, in my opinion. I rarely say this for movies. I feel Finding Dory, Finding not Finding Dory, Finding Nemo, is literal perfection. And this movie, well, I don't think Finding Dory looks as great. It still looks really damn good. And the voice talents look just like the other, just like the original. Look great. The animation. Beautiful. Uh, it's just. It looks like a funny movie too. It looks like it's gonna be a very heartwarming movie, and it just looks like it's gonna be an overall fantastic time with movies. I am so pumped for this. I cannot wait, and I think it's gonna be a really good one, guys. So, fine, Dory. Fuck yeah. Well, you guys, that is our top five anticipated movies of summer 2016. Uh, I want to thank all of my lovely guests before I get to each of them one by one. Comment down below. Let me know what what are your top five anticipated movies of the summer. Heck, it doesn't even have to be a top five. Give me a top ten. Or for the hell of it, give me a top 20. The list could be however long you want a it. Top 100. We don't care. Top exactly. Top exactly. Top 100. <laughs> So whatever top list you have, leave in the comment section below. And I just want to thank WWE Fan for joining. You're welcome. Thank, thank you guys for uh, having me. Definitely, Kane, please stop stripping. You're creeping me out. And uh, yeah. I'm not stripping. All I see was like I'm bunting your shirt. <laughs> no, because my collar looked terrible. All right, thank you very much. Um, big, lazy, and red. Yeah, go check out my channel. I'm terrible, but uh, I'm keeping the plant, and I am pretty sure I am still a boy. Fuck you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. That's perfect. Uh, Brian Mendoza, thank you so much for coming on here, man. Brian's not here. Batman has taken over his office. Ooh. And of course, thank you to Adam Haskell with a channel called Adam Haskell Blu-rays, where he does Blu-ray unboxings. Evan Almighty is the greatest fucking movie ever. So fuck oh, you. So with that. <laughs> Guys, do not forget. To, don't forget to check out me and Twenty Two Tired You on Universe the Blue Tubers and, and WWE fan and WWE fan. Check out each of these guys' channels. I'm going to leave a link to each of my guests' channels in the description below. If you want oh. to. I mean, I can understand if you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
all great content, and they're very awesome people, and I'm blessed to have them here. <laughs> so this is Twain to Tiger Dude here with WWE fan Kevin Falk, um, Caden LaPlante, Ryman Batman, and Adam Haskell. And don't forget that me and all of these dudes right here will and always have... The four pussy. Oh, okay, it's not pussy. Yeah, it's not pussy. I'm sorry. And subscribe to Tony's epic mustache. Yes, right for my mustache.